Um, well, at first I was like kind of nervous about joining a sorority just because I didn't know what to expect. No one in my family had been in one before, but it has been amazing so far. I love all the girls. Um, I get along with everyone that I've met, and it's just been a lot of fun. Well, okay, I'm sure you've heard of like the point game where, you know, you get a point for Uggs, you get a point for a North Face, you get a point for sorority wear. Like, we're typically stereotyped as like the ditzy girls that like to party or whatever, but that's not all of us. Um, there's a stereotype that we're stuck up or um, like certain people aren't good enough for us, but that's not true at all. Legally blonde, for sure. Um, I haven't seen Sorority Row, but I've heard that that's, um, that's a good one for stereotypes. Uh, legally blonde, you know, you've had the ditzy girls, but she gets into law school, so you know, how ditzy can that be? I don't know, just how she has her, like her best friends in the house or whatever, and even like the little dances she does, like, Delta who? Delta new, you know, like all that. It's I don't, just very, very girly and nothing's wrong with that, but it's, I don't know how to describe it. If you've seen the movie, you know. Well, there are definitely different stereotypes for each house. And so a lot of girls going into Rush know those different stereotypes and that'll scare a lot of people. Um, thinking that they don't want to join a house based on what they're like known for but many times that is not true whatsoever um, a lot of people decide not to rush because of the stereotype but I would just say just try to put all that aside and at least go through the recruitment process because you learn a lot just for that one week and even if you don't end up joining a house you'll get so much out of that week it's worth it to go through Sigma Kappa, we're the newest house on campus. Um, we won't be soon. They're bringing a new house here. But I think since we're the newest, we're kind of a melting pot right now with just a bunch of different girls. Um, I really couldn't tell you what our stereotype is because I don't know. The most obvious one is Tridel being the... I don't want to say slutty, but, <laughs> like, they're just known for being out there with guys and partying and stuff. Um, I've heard of, like, the Kappa Kappa grandmas for Kappa Kappa Gamma, but, um, so there's that. Kayo, they're, like, the Kai Ho's, which is horrible to say. Um, <laughs> they're all really bad. I don't want to like, I don't want to say that about those girls. Well, okay, they're definitely each sort of girl in each sorority. Um, and it's bad that just a few girls can give an entire house a reputation. But, um, like every house is going to have your really studious girls. Every house is going to have the partiers. Um, every house is going to have the shyer ones that just like to be homebodies. So you can't base your decision on a house off of like one person you meet because that could be a really bad representation of the house or it could be really good. So it just depends. I think they're portrayed as dangerous at times with the hazing. K-State has a no hazing policy. Um, I haven't experienced one ounce of hazing, which has been really good. Um, but yeah, in the news, all you hear, you don't hear about our philanthropy, you don't hear about the sisterhood and how close everyone is. You hear about all the negative things like hazing and like excluding girls and stuff like that. But that's only what the news portrays and you can't take that for everything sororities are worth. Favorite thing about being in a sorority was definitely meeting all the girls and just building the friendships from the beginning. Um, it's different from high school. In high school, many times people just kind of stay with their own grade and make friends that way. 
But when you're in a house, like, you have freshmen all the way through seniors that are interacting on a daily basis and just getting to know each other. And that's what's been really awesome is getting to know older girls on campus that can, like, advise me on classes and that can show me around if I need it. And I think that's what's been the best part is just really having your sisters, as corny as that sounds. But. Mm, um, yes, I have. Going through Rush, you... Well, you start out, you're in a recruitment group for the first two days. Um, usually girls, like, on your floor or in the neighboring dorms that um, are going through recruitment also. And so just from the get-go, you're in a group with, like, probably 12 girls. And so you've already gotten to know people. And, of course, not all of you are going to join the same house. And so from the get-go, I was meeting different girls with different views and different morals than I have and so and like they would end up joining different houses but I'm still friends with them because we live together we see each other every day definitely mutual selection process you have to trust the system but um each house generally has like their basic like what they're looking for in a girl and a lot of times that goes along with what the girls are looking for in a house. And so if there's one house that wants the really studious, the um, high GPA girls, they're, those girls are obviously going to want a house with the same like values. So during that mutual selection process, things usually work itself out. They're exclusive, obviously. I mean they're not gonna necessarily let a white girl into their sorority probably but I don't really know too much about them they are kind of like behind the scenes I guess or just kind of kept on the down low because someone says something doesn't mean it's true and you can choose to believe that or you can choose to just ignore it and I just choose to ignore stereotypes Well, if you're introduced to someone and they, like, the first thing they say to you is, hi, I'm a so-and-so sorority, um, sorority girl, then I think there's an impression that you first get, just like, oh, okay, you're one of those girls. But, I mean, once you actually talk to the girls and get to know them, a lot of times you'll find that it's not true. It's kind of sad that the reputations affect your first impression of people. But, I mean, you can't really help it sometimes. You can help it, but it happens anyway. I just say that the reputations that people get are not true most of the time. Like I said before, like you have different types of people in each house. There is a wide variety of people in each house, and so just meeting one person won't necessarily give a good representation of all the people and so sometimes reputations can kind of fit and they can be a good thing but most of the time they're to be ignored and you should really just take the time to get to know that actual people instead of just basing your views on them off of their stereotype.